Hello and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I am your host, Dark Master for Dark Master Series Gaming, and let's get straight into the action. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. I'm your host, Dark Master, Dark Master Series Gaming, and last time we opened up the Slime Cave, the level 3 dungeon. So we're going to go straight in now and get going so we're just gonna quick quickly change no I think we're just gonna leave it as it is leave our setup and we're gonna complete this dungeon oh we've got a bomb is there any more oh there is might be a good way to pick up some more bombs oh great It's a chest there. What do we get? Oh, we've got a key. Lovely. Got a small key. Can open a locked door. There's a chest here. Oh, just a slime. Nothing too great. What's in here? Oh, well, we can't do that because the blue switch is up. have to find a switch somewhere. Oh, great. Right, that will left him work our way around. Oh, okay. Oh, what was that? being outsmarted so we're going to chuck bombs at him yeah <laughs> how would you like that yeah you didn't like that did you That'll do. It's a bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but we did it. <laughs> I don't like them enemies. They're a bit weird. Oh, I've got another one. Great. Right, okay. Can we do this? Oh, we didn't want to lose the bomb. We got a bomb back and we got a key. Let's go go and see what's up here. Oh, okay. Good. 
And I guess we just hit it once and when we go back to that other bit, we'll be able to get that treasure in that other room, I would have thought. nice to get an extra key. I think those tiles mean that there must be something that drops in each room. I still remember this from the Game Boy days, I'm sure there's a, a, a hole here as well. Yeah, I know. I remember right. So hopefully we can find some. We've got one there. Right, we'll go on the outside first. Uh, these things. hit that with the tip of my sword there so whoa they are annoying enemies definitely oh, got another chest up there Fair. Ooh, fifty rupees, very nice. So yeah, that's how you see the crack in the wall for this part. 
kind of cheated a little bit there, and I already knew. Right, already been here. Somewhere else I need to go. Can't quite remember where it is. Oh yes, there was another door, wasn't there? Just get our fairy bottle on there. We want to capture this fairy. We don't actually need it, but we might as well save it for now. You caught a fairy in the bottle, set it free anytime you want to get healed. We'll switch back to our bombs. move these oh, and we've got the pegasus boots if you hold l you can dash try going for a long jump right that's that one all right whoops i think i jumped a bit too prematurely there There we go. And we have got the nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. If I remember correctly, there is a key at the beginning of the dungeon that I need to go and collect. So we're going to head for that now. into the hole and there's our next key I'm just gonna smash these to get a few more bombs if we can oh look at that if I see you, ah, I was, was gonna say if I see you, just lock myself up we're getting a few bombs there never mind back into the teleporter all these going to be open. Oh, it's so much easier to get them 
with these boots, you can just run into them. It's great stuff. Oh, bang bang. Remember on the Game Boy version, there is actually an extra key here. Um, because if you already know the way through the dungeon, there is just enough keys to get here. Um, but if you wanted to explore the rest of the the doors in that dun in this dungeon, then um, you know you need this key to be able to do that. So that's why there's an extra key. If I remember rightly, this is a big ball of slime. Neener, neener, you can't find me. Yan, yan. Just hit the wall and drops down. He hit his eye a few times to separate him now. The slime eye. And then we separate them like this. And then we just hit them a couple of times, I think. Oh, managed to get me there. Just, just let him think he's got the upper hand a little bit. And that's that. Easy as that. Heart container. You've got a heart container, your maximum number of hearts increased, and your health has been refilled too. And what instrument have we got this time? You've got the Sea Lily's Bell. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. Oh, and here comes the owl. Hoot, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instrument in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now, you must hasten to the Yana Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot! Now, before we continue on, there is just one more thing I need to do in this dungeon. And if you remember, at the beginning, we had a couple of chests that we needed to get. Um, getting these chests um, will help us out later on in the game because some of the items in the shop are going to be expensive and we do actually need them eventually so I'm just going to quickly go and get them now we have to actually kill this enemy here and then go and kill them skeletons I think it's this one that's um, 300 rupees or something, I think it is. Yep, 300 rupees. So look at that. Oh, 513 there. Um, we did... Let me just double check here. Alright, well that's just the map anyway, I think, so... See what the other one is at the top here. 
Oh, we can't actually get it. It doesn't matter. It's probably nothing. Get a couple more bombs if possible. Okay, and that's it for the Slime Cave. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Link's Awakening. I've been your host, Dark Master, for Dark Master Series Gaming. Join us next time as we head to the desert to get the key for the fourth dungeon. Until next time, that's goodbye from me.